Hey golfers, in this next video I'm going to be talking about the right elbow in golf downswing. Not sure what the elbow should be doing in the downswing? This is the video you want to watch. Stay tuned. Hi, it's Troy from HittingItSolid.com here. Thanks for watching. So let's talk about this right elbow in golf downswing. This is obviously super important as part of the downswing because get your elbow in the right place and you can really compress the golf ball and be in a great position. However, if it's out of position, any sort of little amount and you'll struggle to hit the ball solid. So what I see typically most golfers doing wrong with that right elbow or the trail elbow in the downswing, if we get to the top here, typically this right elbow will get much higher than the left. And this is exaggerating obviously, but even if you come down a little bit steep with the shaft here, anytime this right elbow gets higher than the left in the downswing, you'll cut across the golf ball. Even if you don't cut across it, come down very straight and line with it or steep, you'll pull the ball and just lack a lot of consistency. So that elbow plays a really key role in that downswing. And ideally what I'd like to see you doing as you get here, is feel like that right elbow goes in this direction here and moves into that space right in front of your, on your sort of your rib cage area here. If I just get rid of the club for a moment, the right elbow should move into this space here, right above that right hip. So from face on, right elbow should get right in that space there. Where a lot of golfers get into strife, and you might be able to relate to this, is that elbow get stuck out here somewhere and whenever you get stuck out here you're going to lose lag you're going to lose consistency you won't be able to get any sort of forward shaft lean you'll be in this sort of position here you'll end up casting it and having to flip at the golf ball so getting that elbow in the right position has so many great benefits as I mentioned the lag it also provides a lot of stability to the club head coming through impact as well it shallows the shaft as well. I'll show you this from down the line. If I get to the top here, if I get that elbow in the right spot like there, you can see how that shallows the shaft nicely. And I can go into impact in a great position. But if I get that elbow high in the wrong position, you can see there, I get into a really awkward position coming through to impact. So the right elbow, super important. Now, just a moment, I'm going to show you a couple of little simple exercises you can do anywhere to nail down this move just right. But before I do that, I'll show you a simple little trick to see that you're on the right track with this. Now, ideally, I'd like to see you use a mirror or a video camera or even a phone, but you'll notice when you do this right, when I come down here, should see some space in between my two forearms. I'll show you that again. If I'm getting my elbow in the right position, should see some space between those forearms. Hopefully I've got that camera angle right. See some space. If you're doing it incorrectly, like this, you won't be able to see much of a space there. Try it over here incorrectly. Shouldn't see too much space there. But the correct way, you should see plenty of space there between those forearms. You'll be in a great position to come through to impact. All right, let's get into these two exercises. Okay, let's look at these two exercises to help you get the right elbow on the golf downswing in a great position. Now, I didn't touch on the first part of the video, um, another reason I wanted to mention why you might be struggling with this and it'll do to pushing too far from the right with your right hand. So on this angle here, quite often that right hand, particularly these last three fingers here of your right hand, they will get very dominant and try to push against the shaft and get you across the ball. So I'm going to show you an exercise how you can fix that. But I also want to mention it's important when you're doing this that we're Besides getting that elbow in that right position, that we're staying in posture back here, and we're rotating, opening up our body, and squaring that club face. 
all very important, square in the club face I'm going to cover in another video. But for this one, let's have a look at a couple of these exercises. Now the first one, I touched on those three fingers. Now what I like to do, if you're someone that pushes too much with that right hand, making it difficult for you to get that elbow down, when you hold the club, when you get to the top, take those three fingers off, just here. Take them off the club and just practice doing slow swings down to the golf ball, you'll find that there'll be less push against the shaft. You'll have no problems getting that elbow in front of that right hip. And not only will you get it in front of the right hip, but you'll be able to get it past there, through to the impact position, and it'll move even a little bit further along. You'll be able to compress the golf ball and get in that sort of position there. So just taking those three fingers off, doing slow rehearsal swings. You could even hit small shots like this at the driving range if you want to, but that works really effectively. Now this next drill, this is a little bit more challenging. Now, it's quite difficult to do on your own, so I'm gonna just demonstrate without a club. So what I want you to do is balance either a alignment rod like this or a very light piece of wood, put it in between right in between your little elbow pits like that. And as you get your set up, as you make your backswing, if you're doing this correctly, this alignment stick should be relatively flat. Now as I go down, you should be able to maintain this alignment stick, as challenging as it is, and not have it fall out. If I tilt it all too much and put too much push with that right side, that alignment rod is going to jump right out. But the idea is to keep those elbows relatively level in the downswing. That means you're getting your elbow in the right position. So just balance it there. It's much easier with a second person. Balance it there, turn, come down. Very challenging to do, but if you practice it, you can get that right elbow in a great position. Now, super important coming up, I've got an additional video that talks about the trail shoulder in the downswing and why you need to externally rotate it. Now, this ties in really well with this video with the right elbow, so make sure you watch it. It's coming right up. Do you want to know how to make an even better downswing? Click and watch the video on your screen now. It's going to go into a bit more detail about how the trail shoulder works in the downswing and how it needs to externally rotate. Now this ties in really well with this video and is a must watch. Do you want to know how to play even better golf? Consider subscribing to the channel. And remember, if you have any questions or comments, please let me know, I will get back to you. Thanks for watching, see you next time.